Sometimes a rain dance is just a dance, and it rains. Winning Lawsuits Against Debt Collectors, Part 1. Brought to you by YourLegalLegUp.com, your advantage if you're being sued by debt collectors. Have you seen some of those sites by people who've been sued by debt collectors? They start out saying something like, I was sued by a debt collector and won. Let me show you how I did it. <laughs> Everybody's an expert, right? And capitalizing on a person who is being harassed by debt collectors' natural distrust and dislike of lawyers, this new expert is going to show you a way to defeat the debt collectors, just like he or she did. You'll learn from someone just like you, someone you can trust. <laughs> There's a problem. As you know, if you spent much time on my site, sometimes debt collectors drop lawsuits because you file an answer. Sometimes a debt collector will stop harassing you because you seek verification of the debt. Sometimes they'll drop a suit because you request discovery. Heck, sometimes they'll drop the suit because you show up on the first day. I hear stories like that all the time, and if you stick around long enough, you will too. And for you, as a defendant who's been harassed by a debt collector, the relief is wonderful. But it doesn't make you an expert. It makes you lucky. I put lucky in quotation marks because in almost all the scenarios above, you had to take some action to trigger the dismissal by the debt collector. Just by taking some action, good or bad, right or wrong, you are, as they say, putting yourself on the side of the angels. You're helping to make your own luck. And if you get lucky and win, you deserve it, in my opinion. But that doesn't change the fact that there are right things to do and wrong things you could do at every stage of a lawsuit. A lawsuit really is an elaborate dance, and it has very specific steps. And like any other ritual, there's also stuff going on below the surface. There really is a right way and a wrong way. If you do the right thing, the chances of the debt collector walking away go up. Although it is possible the other side will walk away even if you do the wrong things. If you filed something that wasn't the right thing, but still happened to win, for every hundred people who follow in your footsteps, 98 of them will lose and wonder why. And it's always the winners who want to talk about it. But was it a rain dance, or just a dance, and they happen to win? Without knowing the debt collectors and debt law, anything you do is just a dance. It happened to rain for that guy in Oklahoma that one time, but it still wasn't a rain dance. You do that dance and you're going to get burned. That makes sense? Anyone can get lucky, but the more you know, the less it's really luck and the more you can count on it. Because the more you know, the better chance you'll do the right things that make it more likely the debt collectors will walk away, or that you'll still win even if they do not walk away. And this is where a long history of helping a lot of people in widely different situations win a lot of cases can make a difference. The value of experience, practice, and knowledge. Aren't the stakes really too high to count on an overnight expert? In the next parts of this video, we'll look at the steps of litigation, how each one presents you an opportunity to get lucky, and the better you do them, the more likely you are to get lucky. Protect what's yours and don't let the debt collectors rip you off. Your legal leg up dot com.